Say what? Oh yeah. So today's the last day of summer, you guys. Oh what? Can you what, believe it? What? I know, but it still feels like summer. Yeah, it's yeah, well, yeah we're in Jacksonville, Florida. It, like we only have the three seasons, right? So it's like <laughs> it's us. like it's like spring <laughs> that lasts from like October to May. And then we have summer that's just June and July. And then we have super summer, which is ah. August and September. That's the only three seasons we have here. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's technical. This is technical yeah, terms. Very. You're the well, meteorologist, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> well, it actually starts at 2.50 a.m. So, so specific. while you're partying tonight at 2.50 in the morning. <laughs> you're really still partying at 2.50, nice. <laughs> no, I will be well in bed. I don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, but old. during an equinox, because it's the autumnal equinox, mm -hmm. the sun crosses what we call the celestial equator. Hmm. It's an imaginary extension of the Earth's equator line into space. So the equinox occurs precisely when the sun's center passes through that line. Mm. That's why the precise time. Gotcha, science. Yeah, okay. <laughs> science. <laughs> so we're seeing some of those leaves <laughs> on the ground there. Obviously not here, no, <laughs> but uh, no, what are some of your favorite fall activities? Um, <clears throat> my favorite fall activity, let's see, probably watching football and drinking beer. Mm. Yeah, what yeah. about you? Uh, well, <laughs> when I was in Washington State, when my husband was stationed there, there were lots of activities that. to do. <laughs> I mean, there was so many things to do, like all the little festivals and stuff and yeah. apple picking yeah. and that kind of thing. So I really love doing all those little fall festivals. Yeah. Um, I did do a couple of them since I've been back home home in Florida. Uh, we went to Amazing Grace Family Farms okay. last year and the year before. Nice. That was really cool. But I think they've moved farms this year. So when, we'll I, find when out. I lived in New York, we would go up to up, like upstate and go to Vermont and go apple picking oh, and stuff. Yeah, every I fall. Bet it's and that was super, super neat. Yeah, it's a whole whole different experience. They have all four seasons there, right? So like fall is mm -hmm. very defined. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And then in Georgia, actually, you know, they've got all kinds of apples and stuff there too. You can go to Mercier's, this place that's up just north of uh, Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. and they've got, it's just just enormous. It's one of the biggest like apple orchards in the South kind hmm. of thing. It's pretty cool. They have all kinds of other stuff too. What so about pumpkin great. spice? What are your thoughts? Um, pumpkin is good for pie. <laughs> <laughs> Not into the the coffee variety. Not really. I don't. I don't know. Like some of it's pretty good, but I feel like half the time they just go overboard with it, and it's just like that's not what pumpkins taste like. Well, they've got some in our our break room, so I'm I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about the foliage, mm -hmm. or you know the the leaves and everything. Yep. So the best and worst places to visit: Lawn Starter compared the 48 contiguous U.S. states based on four categories. We looked at they looked at length of projected fall foliage scenic drives, fall festivals, and pumpkin patches among 22 total metrics. So nice, it's okay. not just because of the leaves. Right. So the top places to visit this fall, mm -hmm. number one is California. That's interesting. I know. Actually, I wouldn't think that either. Me, uh, but they must have a lot going on. So two huh. is New York. Yeah, that makes that a little makes more sense. sense. Three is Washington. Makes like I said, sense. when I was in Washington State, they had a lot going on there for that. Uh, four is Michigan. And five is Pennsylvania. Totally makes sense. Yeah. Everything but California there makes total sense. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, so then the... <laughs> <laughs> the, the worst places to visit, what, what? Louisiana. Yeah. And you're going to be going there soon. I am, yeah. Be there in a couple of weeks for You'll Chuck Fest. The car's playing a show there. That'll be You'll great. You'll have to uh, report back. Um, <laughs> Oklahoma, Delaware, yeah, Delaware. Florida, <laughs> and Texas. Texas. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Like, yeah. like The worst ones to visit all make total sense to me. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Louisiana. It's basically just like here. I mean, right? yeah, it's like all the hot Yeah, it's just hot and it's like swampy. <laughs> 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 and then uh, if you want to plant and something then, right now, right? actually now is a great time to plant uh, for your spring gardens. Oh, yes. So here are your top five things to, to plant right now. Mm -hmm. Spring bulbs. So okay. think like tulips and hyacinths, uh, pansies and pansies. violas. Okay. Violas, I don't know what violas are. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Number Nothing. three, turf grass. What? Hold on. Is turf grass real grass? Turf makes me seem like it's oh. like artificial turf. You, you can't plant that. You lay that. Uh. <laughs> I just totally threw up. I just tilted her. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> well, according to research, David, <laughs> no, this is actually from um, Better Homes and Gardens. Gotcha. All right, number four is about. trees and shrubs, and number five, perennials. So basically, yeah. now is a great time to plant those items so that by spring, it'll be looking great. Do you do any of that kind of stuff? Any gardening? Yeah, yeah around your house. I've got all kinds of cool stuff. We've got rosemary going right now. Uh, I've oh, got a lemon rosemary. tree. I've got a lime tree. I've got a loquat tree. I have a plantain tree. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, we've got some tomatoes. I've got some basil. I've got marigolds all around that to protect it from the from the uh, bugs. I need to step up my game. Yeah, I got, a, I got a 
a pretty green thumb. I'm impressed. Two of them. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, have you ever wondered what Jaguars players are up to when they're not on the field? Well, I got the opportunity.